This episode of Crazy Ken's Tech Misadventures is sponsored by Linode. Just enjoy all of the favicons. <laughs> loading, just loading in there, getting all in their tight squeezes in the tabs. Should we run the script again while this is loading? Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because I think we're about to witness the death of this MacBook Pro. It's gonna get ugly. Anyway, a little while ago, Jonathan Morrison did a Chrome challenge video where he opened up 6,000 Google Chrome tabs on his Mac Pro. Now he had 1.5 terabytes of RAM. We're poor, so we only have 16. The royal we, I have no idea. So how far can a MacBook Pro from 2013 with only 16 gigabytes of RAM get? We're gonna find out soon. Anyway, Jonathan did the heavy lifting for us and he wrote a little workflow inside of the Automator program. So basically what this does is it opens up a bunch of websites repeatedly and it stops at a thousand. I can already see the fun and joy we're gonna experience from this. So how far is it gonna go? Let's find out. All right, so first let's take a look at what exactly is inside this Automator script. We have a get specified URL action, and it looks like it opens up probably like 50 different websites, apple.com, Microsoft, store.google.com, all the way down to Linus Tech Tips' YouTube channel. Fantastic. I guess all we have to do now is press run, and we're gonna make some bad decisions here. I'm sorry, MacBook Pro. I hate to do this to you, but uh, I'm probably gonna get a new Mac anyway and demote you to a backup machine, but hey, it's been a good six and a half years, right? Oh no, what am I doing? What am I, why am I doing this? Look at all, oh my gosh. Dude, they're just flying by like crazy. Is it supposed to do that? Isn't it supposed to open a bunch of tabs? I feel like something is not working right. Oh, 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 there go the tabs now. Okay, oh my gosh, look at all the spinning loading indicators. Oh, that is mesmerizing. Look at them go. Oh, shit. Yeah, I should probably install like a, an extension to tell me how many tabs are open. Okay, I reset it and I'm running it again and now with the extension installed and that will let us keep track of how many tabs are actually open. All right, so far we have one tab open. That's a good start. Oh, there they go. Oh, shit. And yep, 1,000 tabs per script. Let's see if we can actually navigate to one of these. Hey, B&H. Scrolling is uh, gonna lag like crazy, but the tab loaded. Let's go to another one. Hey, maxsales.com, all right. Not a sponsor of any of these sites, by the way. This is just what's happening. <laughs> Let's check our extension here. Open Windows 1, tabs 1000, current window open tabs. Not sure what that means, current window open tabs. Hmm. So we have about 36% of our CPU left. 43% uh, is being used by us and 20% by the system. But here are individual Chrome helpers. But right now, we are using 13 total gigs of memory out of only a total 16. We only have 16 gigs in the system, but you know, this is a 2013 laptop. So uh, what do you expect? Just enjoy all of the favicons. Loading, loading, just loading in there, getting all in their tight squeezes in the tabs. Should we run the script again while this is loading? You know, I think we could. What the hell? Let's switch back to Automator and run. Oh no, this thing is gonna start on fire. Yep, the addresses are definitely not flying by as quick as they were before, but that's to be expected. It looks like some of the loading wheels even stuck, but it's keeping up. This maybe wasn't such a bad idea after all. We'll get through this together. Here's the impressive thing though. The system is still performing really well. Like Exposé is still really smooth. I'm able to switch between the apps almost without a problem. Um, Chrome is kind of taking over because new tabs keep opening up and the focus keeps switching back to it. But I'm able to launch other applications. You know, they're not gonna stay in the foreground because of the activity going on in Chrome, but you know, things are working pretty smooth. Film Tools was the last URL in the script. I'm, fairly certain. 
So it should be wrapping up the second run right about now, but everything is frozen in the tabs, at least for the loading animation. All right, come on, you got this, you got this, Mac. You've already got a thousand in you, you can do another thousand, no problem. Look, your opponent is not as scary as some people think. Look, it's just a fear tactic. He does not use as much RAM as a lot of people say. I actually ran a test recently. I found that Safari was using more memory than Chrome was. And that's the browser that's built into you for crying out loud. You got this, you got this. But let's see if we can actually switch around here. Well, we got the beach ball. And it just refreshed with 2,000 tabs in the extension there. You know, this is just an early prediction, but we might be able to keep going and going, you know. Uh, things will get slower gradually, but if the RAM's able to manage itself, you know, it might not stop. It'll just keep getting slow. I guess we'll see. Do more at once? I already have 2,000 tabs open, bitch. I'm doing plenty. You know, I don't think I've ever seen the memory pressure graph turn yellow before. Um, I just thought it was always green. Okay, well, first time for everything. Yes, we are using 14.24 gigabytes of memory out of 16, so not a lot of space. There's not a lot of memory left in here. What's amazing to me is that I have these 2,000 tabs loading in the background, but other stuff on the system performs fine. I'm scrubbing a 4K video here. I can go into the expose view and it's hardly dropping any frames, which is really impressive. It's so stable, even though we only have 16 gigs of RAM in here, you know, on a computer that at this point in time is six and a half years old. Talk about multitasking. Best Buy wants to know your location. 10 stories underground. You're not gonna find me. Okay, so that's a, a development. No, <laughs> freaking notifications are able to come through still. For some reason, we're at 1,999 instead of 2,000. It's like we lost a tab. That's bizarre. What do you say? Should we go for 3,000? Well, if you say so. Going for 3,000. Run. <laughs> okay, so apparently it can also turn red in the memory pressure uh, graph. So that's great. Yes, we have 800 megabytes of memory free right now. Oh, what a surprise. Page is unresponsive. <laughs> How many? Oh, it's not letting me scroll. Oh, that's nice. Well, we're patient people, so I'm gonna click the wait button. Oh, it actually, it actually worked. Yeah, we're just gonna wait. We're not giving up. <laughs> oh, this poor computer. $29.99, we are making progress. I still don't know what happened to that one freaking tab. I'm sorry for anyone that has like OCD or something because it's not a perfect 3000. I, I'll do, I don't know what to tell you. We're just gonna have to live with it. Maybe I'll open a tab myself. In fact, let's actually try that. <laughs> yep. Eh, don't know what else I really expected. It'll probably happen. It just needs two minutes. Hey, look at that. 3,000 tabs. We're back to a nice even number. That was about two minutes. Yeah, nailed it. Yeah, the yellow part of the graph is not even in existence anymore. We're just going right to the blood territory now. It is red. Let's see, what are we at right now? We are using 15.15, .15, so around where we were earlier. You know, maybe in the future, I'm getting kind of tempted to try this experiment again on an older version of Mac OS that doesn't have compressed memory because we have compressed memory now, but everything before Mavericks did not. So that might be an interesting test later. I don't know how much that's actually helping here, but it looks like we're using almost nine gigabytes of compressed memory, which is basically a compressed version of data stored in physical memory. It hasn't been touched recently, so it's compressing it and storing it for later. Wired memory is memory that cannot be put into swap, cannot be compressed, super high priority. It's gotta be wired, like you are when you drink seven cups of coffee the night before your exam. And app memory is, well, I, I guess that's just the current memory being used by processes. Physical memory allocated by, I'm guessing, applications and system processes. Look at that. Going for 4,000. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure this is not supposed to happen. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. Linode, no matter what skill level you're at or what technology stack you use, Linode makes it easy to give your creations their own personal space on the internet. If you just need something small, like a simple website, game server, or personal VPN, Linode has you covered. If you need to manage tons of websites and reliably serve them to millions of visitors, well, guess what? Linode can do that too. 
Unlike entry-level hosting services that lock you into their platform, Linode gives you full backend access to customize and control your server to fit your needs. Their DNS manager allows you to easily switch your domain to your new server, and SSL certificates can be installed for free using open source tools. And here's another cool thing. If you run into any problems getting set up, Linode comes with amazing 24-7 customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of docs to help get you started. And because you're here, and because we're all best friends, you amazing Computer Clan viewers get a free $20 credit on a new Linode account with my code COMPCLAN20. And if you don't like typing in codes, you can sign up with the link in the description. All right, let's check back in on Google Chrome. Um, oh, it went back. We're probably having a couple of a GPU problems now. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that's what's causing the, oh, another flicker, very nice. Let's see, looks like we're back in the yellow territory. Oh wow, it's like spazzing out. The numbers are updating way quicker than normal. Uh, usually you can set the frequency as to how quickly stuff updates, but I didn't change anything and the numbers are just spazzing out. And the memory pressure chart is chugging along there too. Uh, but yeah, we're at, we're hovering around 15 gigs right now. I don't care where you are, in a race car, in an airplane, on a freaking like command module on the Apollo mission or on your computer. When numbers start moving really fast, it's usually a bad thing. Oh. My computer just wanted to zoom out. That was fun. I didn't do that. My hands are here. To quote Shaggy, it wasn't me. All right, hang in there, Mac. You got 3,000 in you. Come on, you can get to 4,000. You can do this. Oh man, why am I sweating so bad? You're the one doing all the work. You gotta finish this soon. I don't wanna end up looking like Papa John. Ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, we have approached the next level. 4,000 tabs. And of course, we're gonna get more of these uh, warning screens here, but we're just gonna say, wait. Well, we might be hitting a breaking point very soon because now other applications are starting to not respond, even when they have no windows open. So, can we get to 6,000? Maybe, um, but definitely all those tabs aren't gonna be able to be switched to, you know, instantaneously. We may be able to get to a 6,000 count, but there's no way in heck we're gonna actually have all of those sites loaded and usable off of 15 gigabytes of memory. Also, you know how on the Mac when you press a keyboard shortcut, the menu item where the shortcut is under will flash? Well, I pressed Command T to open up a new tab and the uh, file menu is just kind of stuck there. It's been like that for about six minutes. All right, this is fine. We'll all be fine. All right, so here's an update on the fineness. Uh, looks like memory used is up a little bit higher than we had before and we have almost 10 gigs that are in compressed. Yeah, the memory pressure chart is just all red now. So yeah, that's, that's great. That's good, that's good, good. No problem here, we're fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, this is a screen I have not seen in a long time, but we are out of application memory. To avoid problems with your computer, quit any applications you are not using. Okay, yeah, the doc's taking a while to come up. Oh no, I think, well, we can quit QuickTime. That's not gonna free up a bunch. Oh man. Yep, stuff's really starting to slow down now. Um, Automator, we need to run future things, but uh, I guess, you know, we can close that and activity monitor for now. So let's close that and force quit automator. And let's see if that's enough to keep Chrome going. Oh, it just started eating up more RAM now. Can I close this? Cause I thought you couldn't close this when this was open, but I think you actually can maybe uh. It's just in the older system where that was a, a modal window and you had to close stuff. But now it's like, hey, optionally, you can close stuff and make your computer better or you can keep it in a very place. The choice is yours. You know, I've always made the joke that these types of screens look like a checkered flag because that's it. They're finished. It's the end of the race, man. I think we got to throw in the towel here soon. <laughs> Okay, so even with this screen here, I noticed the RAM consumption is increasing steadily, uh, even though nothing else is going on and the force quit window is open. So, oh, it's just eating this thing alive. Yeah, speaking of eating, huh, I'm uh, getting a little hungry. So I think I'm gonna go look for some leftovers. Hopefully the rats left me something good and uh, we'll just let this sit for a couple hours. All right, be right back. 
Okay, so I let the system stand for probably like two and a half hours and Chrome slowly crawled up. Oh, my mouse cursor isn't even, oh no. I can't even move the mouse cursor, oh no. Oh crap, anyway, it slowly climbed up over five gigabytes and the file menu thing is still lit up and nothing is moving, not even the mouse cursor. This is, this is locked tight. So it looks like we got to 4,000 tabs in the counter. You know, obviously not all of those tabs are gonna be usable the minute we click on them because we only have 16 gigs of RAM here. But at least we got up to 4,000 on the counter. So that's something, right? But yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to call it quits here. 4,000 is as far as it could go. So sorry, Mac, nothing personal. There it goes. And let's boot it back up. You shut down your computer because of a problem. Yeah, that problem was 4,000 Google Chrome tabs. Restore pages, Chrome did not shut down correctly. Yeah. So what happens if we do hit restore? I'm curious, will it restore all 4,000? Well, we already got the beach ball. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna be able to freaking do this. I don't wanna risk it again. So we're just gonna force quit, relaunch, and no, we are not going to restore. Okay, so that was oodles of fun. All time tabs ever since I installed the Chrome tab counter, 4,005 and 4,000 of those were from this experiment. So we got kind of far, you know, for 16 gigs of RAM on a six and a half year old computer, a laptop nonetheless, not too bad. But hey, 4,000 Chrome tabs is pretty impractical anyway. I mean, I can't see ever needing more than 2,000. Well, that was a fun challenge, wasn't it? Sorry, MacBook Pro, that you had to endure that. And uh, thank you, Jonathan, for writing that automator script so we could save some time and destroy our computers. Hey, let me know how far you get. Tell me if your Mac can beat 4,000 and tell me how much RAM you were also running off of. I wanna see how far you guys can get. Let's get a little competition going. Also, if you want some more goodies from myself and from the Computer Clan, feel free to click that new join button that's below the video and you can get some other cool stuff from us. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on.